Welcome to my Corgi Art, the place to celebrate all things Corgi. Today, we've got a special treat for you of the funniest and most adorable moments from TV news interviews about our favorite breed. Don't miss a laugh, so hit subscribe and let's get started. up your sleeve situation. <laughs> yeah. There's so much cuteness. <laughs> cuteness overload a massive gathering of corgis. <laughs> like in person up close. How you doing? Yeah. I know we're supposed to be talking to both of you. We went immediately to the dogs. I know. Yeah, we get that a lot. They're oh the real stars here. Gosh. <laughs> Tell us about this event. Oh, a treat. What should we expect? You guys have over 200 corgis yes, coming out? Yes, we have at least 250 corgis coming out this Saturday. <laughs> in uh, Florence, Kentucky, and it's a huge... Yeah, these corgis are the most popular dogs in London right now, and the most popular breed probably in the world. This is yours? Oh, yeah. And what did, you, what did you draw on there? Oh, a corgi. I think they're really cute, and I've always wanted to meet the Queen's oh. actual corgis. Yeah, she has. And I've always wanted to be on TV. This is the Corgi Cafe in Bangkok. Uh, visitors <laughs> are them. able and watch them perform little tricks. Uh, it's not all work though. The owners are keen to stress the dogs are given plenty of rest after all the excitement. It is. I did go to a dog cafe in that South Korea once upon a time. People went there to play with the dogs. I was, I was a bit worried yep, there about I know. Yeah. That's why I'm a bit clear. Play yeah. with dogs. The dogs were all over the place. We were sitting on the tables, sitting on the sofas. It was did, quite um, extraordinary. What was on the menu? I didn't eat anything. Why? It was, it was a... Honestly, no. No, but... but anyway. Is that it? It does happen. Tell us a little bit about when you have a litter. What are the things you do to socialize? Or get the puppies ready for the ring. You know, so they're not frightened of anything when as they grow up. It's just something that's second nature. Right, so it, it's things that they put their feet on, touch, see, hear, and smell. So Absolutely. that they learn to become accustomed to sounds and things that they might. Ang masasabi ko lang po is, um, kailangan may passion sila and time sa kanilang dogs. Mm -hmm. And we are responsible. Um, kailangan may passion sila and time sa kanilang dogs mm -hmm. and we are responsible pet owner yun lang naman po lagi yun and lagi lang po tayong mag-trust sa ating dog because at the end of the day yung mga dogs natin lagi silang may trust sa atin mm -hmm. so right. yung trust natin is kailangan ibalik natin sa kanila all right okay. well, thank, thank you, you so Wensia. Yeah. congratulations thank you, Wensia. congratulations Wensia. Well, well, congratulations you stay us. here on new day okay <laughs> thank you so much okay join us every day that seat is for you not for dog freddy anymore <laughs> well the Queen will be remembered for many things. Including her overwhelming love for corgis, of which she owned more than 30 during her reign. <laughs> and with her many furry friends riding around the palace, sometimes they misbehaved. Mm. <laughs> and the man who was called in when they did was corgi specialist Dr. Roger Mumford. Doctor, good morning to you. <laughs> good morning, Carl. Thanks for giving Hello. me. Uh, thanks for giving me. Um, and this is George, by the way. He's a royal dog, a future royal dog, because there is a Prince George, and who yeah. knows? You know, this dog has been named after him. He's um, and uh, he is. He make a chemical attack on Carl, I think, at this moment. No, this is. It is a fantastic <laughs> little breed, but the the point is, this hardworking royal lady deserved to have fun. And mm. dogs gave her fun and relaxation right. and love. Oh no! George is too heavy. Take George. I think that. Oh, this oh, is. Here we go. This is therapy oh. in action. It's happening. Hang on, I'll hold this bit up then. Carl. It's not how you oh, hold a no dog. Call it, no wonder they call him Big George. Hey, <laughs> hey Dickie Arbiter's here with us. Um, Dickie, obviously you worked closely with the Queen for for twelve years. Yeah. Um, you can confirm did the corgis stay in the bed? Well, they're peculiar dogs. So what? Sorry, but they are peculiar dogs. Uh, <laughs> That's all right. What? When I was up at Balmoral, after lunch and a walk, we had tea. 
And these dogs, they love people. They love to feel people. And I was sitting there. It was a bit of a double whammy because they have scented tea up there. And I don't like tea, but I had to look as though I was enjoying it. And then these dogs, about five of them, were sitting on my feet. And half an hour later, my feet were going to sleep. And I got pins and needles. And I thought, I've got to do something. So I moved them, my feet. And these dogs squeaked. And Her Majesty said, was that you? I said, no, ma'am, it was your dog. She said, we'll kick them. Oh, <laughs> oh. Dickie. Well, it looks like George is enjoying um, so Auntie just... Ali's uh, gentle uh, message. <laughs> that, that wouldn't have been my just... technique. <laughs> just, that is a bad I'm look, Ali. just protecting Allie. George's dignity. <laughs> the crown jewels, as it were. <laughs> I, I, think he wa I think he wants to be on the ground. Yeah, okay, that's fine. We can get, there you go, there you go, George. Ooh. Rome but, free, um, George. The... Well done. Anyway, Ooh. yeah, thank you. Thank you, George. Well done. Go skitch him. Oh, skitch him, George. Lovely. Well, on, George. we've had it all this morning. Phew. Stay with us because Thank our so live much. coverage continues. Love corgis? Don't miss out on the fun. Subscribe and hit that like button for more exciting corgi content. Thanks for watching.